Hello civil engineers, welcome to my youtube channel on civil brains. We are into the lecture number 5 on the series of one way slab and we will see how the concreting is done for this particular structure. So everything is ready, we have put this uh, lift machine and all and I will try to play the video. So this is how they are preparing the concrete and from there they will be making a path through that uh, plywood okay so that the wheel will easily you know travel over that and this is how they are going to place the concrete now before placing the concrete as i mentioned you have certain uh, checklists which i have already seen and also at the time of concreting right you have certain checklist you need to take care of that we will try to see that and also even before a day of concreting you should know how much quantity of cement is required sand is required and based on that that much amount of cement back should be there on your side if it is a nominal mix of course if it is a design mix then anyhow it will come directly from the batching plant you just have to calculate the volume of that you don't have to check you know how much cement bag is required because all those things will be mixed design so it will be fitted into a computer machine and it will come on its own but if it is a nominal mix and if you are preparing a concrete on the site itself then of course it's your duty to calculate the number of cement bag the sand and the aggregate so i'll stop a video a bit here and we'll try to concentrate on those particular part and we'll come back to this again so first i'll take you to a uh, quantity estimation sheet uh, this is not exactly for this particular building but at least the way of preparing this is similar to that right right now uh, i'll take you to the roof part So you can see it here, I have written all the quantities here, uh, like for us, for example let us say you want to calculate for a beam, okay, now for this is uh, for the beam, yeah, ground floor beam shuttering quantity, here you will be finding the shuttering quantity, how much shuttering is required for all the beams, okay, along with that you will be also doing a quantity estimation for the, uh, which one, for the concrete, now it is written here, ground floor beam concrete, for the beam how much concrete is required, you will find the units in cubic meter how what is the length of your beam what is the breadth of your beam what is the depth of your beam what is the total quantity coming how many numbers are there what is the total beam concrete required and corresponding to this 0.158 cubic meter of a concrete how much amount of cement is required how much amount of sand is required how much amount of aggregate is required and water so all these things in my quantity estimation course if you go back to my quantity estimation course no uh, i'll take you to that course here i've explained both manually as well as on the excel sheet how do you do all these things that is explained in my quantity estimation course on the udemy it's there it's a best seller on the udemy having 4.6 star rating already 3200 students have enrolled in this course and the cost is as i mentioned it will be 700 on the udemy but uh, sometimes uh, on my app you'll get it for 400 rupees right and you can see all the contents from here okay all the contents you're going to get here 155 lectures around uh, 18,000 students have enrolled in my courses I got 4.4 star rating on the Udemy and all these other uh, what you call uh, reviews given by the students you can go through the reviews and only after going through the reviews you can check the uh, content and then you can enroll in the courses and even after enrolling in my course if you feel it's not worth you get a 30 days money back guarantee which no other institutes is going to give you once they take money it's done and dusted but here even if you're not interested after taking the course if you feel the course is not worth you can ask for the refund straight away you're going to get your refund right but the chances of asking a refund is very less in my course so that is the quality of content you're going to get in my course you can go through all the reviews here right that's how it is yeah so we'll go back to the video again and yeah of course the checklist i'll show you once again now coming to the checklist what is written here checklist prior to the concreting even before you do the concreting this I already have explained check for the cleanliness of the area and all okay along with that you have to check whether the vibrator is ready or not i'll show what exactly a vibrator is all about so you need to check whether you have prepared your vibrator is on the previous day you will check whether the needle is working properly or not and also the mixer machine i'll show what this mixer machine is all about is it okay whether it is in proper conditions or not exactly what happens sometimes uh, if you're using a mixer machine for a very long time and you don't maintain it then there's a lot of cement mortar you know uh, attached to that particular uh, drum again because of that the efficiency of your mixer is going to come down all those things you need to check and also other than that you see here a protective covers against rain provided that means let us say you're doing a concreting and suddenly started to rain so at that 11th hour you cannot run and go and get something to cover that so all these things should be there on the site previously so that even if it rains you have enough you know protection with you with you so that you can cover the concrete which has already been laid right and then also of course the slum test what your uh, the slum cone test what we did our engineering days when we need to do the same test on the 
uh, site where you are going to put the concrete in four layers and give a tamping for 25 number of times and then of course if you are ordering the concrete from the RMC plant we need to mention what is the grade of your concrete let us say it is M20 how much quantity of a concrete is required and what is the date of concreting and then your sign has a site engineer is going to come here now how much concrete uh, is required that you know in the quantity estimation if you can see here I require around uh, if I go to this particular let me go for the roof part Yeah, if I go to the roof beam uh, concreting work, yeah. So let us say this is my roof beam. Okay, I have done a quantity estimation for this. So I require around 46 m cube of concrete for my uh, roof beam, and also for my slab concreting, how much is required? We'll try to see that for the slab concreting, you require about 50 m cube of this. So this is how you are calculate the slab concreting. Okay, uh, slab. Yeah, how much slab concrete is required is calculated in this. Way. So 50 cubic meter of concrete is required. So you're going to write it here that 50 of course 50 in the sense it may vary on the side on the side because due to some wastage and all right we cannot exactly tell but once the concreting is done you can write it here this much amount of concrete was required and once you're going to sign it right so this is how our checklist is going to look then checklist during the concreting at the time of concreting also there's a checklist you should you should see check for the slump of the concrete being poured that means see here you're pouring the concrete isn't it this guy is pouring the concrete now you need to check the slump of this so whether the slump whatever was mentioned whether it is same etched on the site or not so that you and this is vibrator you can see this is called as needle vibrator so you have a needle here sometimes we call this as a poker vibrator and exactly on the 90 degree you have to place it and when you try to remove it no you shouldn't remove it suddenly slowly you have to remove it suddenly if you remove again what will happen voids will be created here so that is how you have to make it. so so what will happen now what is your duty let us say you are a site engineer so this labors are just putting the vibrator and, and immediately they're taking out so as a site engineer you need to tell them that is not how you have to do it put it inside at a 90 degree then slowly you take it out right so all this is your duty as a site engineer to take care of all these things and again you see this guy is placing the concrete here and it is pretty right but again you know uh, whenever we place the concrete we should uh, take care of the segregation isn't it uh, uh, the height of the fall should not be greater than 1.5 meter roughly around three to four uh, yeah around three feet i would say so it should not be greater than that here there is no issue because this height itself is very less and the fall of concrete is also very less than uh, uh, one meter and one and a half meter and it is a uh, right way of practicing okay usually for the slab it won't be a problem usually this problem comes in com uh, comes in place of you know uh, when you're doing a retaining wall or let us say you're doing a column casting then the height of the fall may be more in that case you have to take precautions And one more thing, uh, always uh, whenever you do the concreting, right, make sure you are doing a concreting at the evening time, that is after 4 or 5 p.m. Like in the previous company where I used to work, uh, for, uh, usually for the uh, beam and the column and other stuff, I mean other elements, we used to do the concreting, especially for the, you know, uh, cement concrete uh, road, we used to do the uh, concreting after 5, 5.30 because at that time, the temperature will be very less and also because of that what will happen there won't be much operation of the water from the concrete and if there is a immediate operation of the water from the concrete then again there is a chances of your plastic cracks on your slab so that is why always uh, the best practice is that try to uh, do the concreting work in the evening of course for the slab we don't have option we starting in the morning itself because right now when we started this concreting it was 9 30 in the morning and in the entire series i'll show you till the evening how the concreting was done so it took around you know uh, it this concreting went till 7 15 in the evening but of course there was a two hours uh, a problem with the mixer machine but at least it took around you know 8 to 10 hours for us to do the concreting of this particular 5000 square feet area of a slab yeah and one more thing you can see all this uh, centering plates right so these are the centering plates you can see all these are the plates what we have put is a centering plates it is made up of steel since the temperature is very hot now all the steel plates have already got heated now if this steel plates are already heated the moment you add a water in the concrete all this water will be you know taken by the steel plates because it quickly gets operated then what will happen your concrete will not have water in that and as a result of that what will happen uh, there, there won't be hydration of a cement if there is no hydration of a cement uh, the box compound what we have like tricalcium silicate dicalcium silicate uh, tetracalcium aluminate all those things will not react and as a result of that you are not going to get enough strength so that is why what we need to do whenever you are doing a concreting in a hot temperature and you are specifically and, and you are using this steel plates make sure you give enough water to the steel plates that means see even before placing the concrete you know, just uh, you know sprinkle water across all the steel plates 
so that whatever uh, steel plates they got heated up right it will cool down and then if you place the concrete whatever water is there in the concrete that will not get evaporated otherwise what will happen there is a uh, chances of cracks coming in a slab concreting right again you can see this guy is placing something here so what is this called so whenever we place the concrete we have certain thickness of a slab concreting right let us say you have to pl place a 6 inch thickness or 7 inch or let us say 5 inch so how do you maintain that 5 inch 6 inch thickness so the local practice what we do is they have this uh, I don't know exactly the name of this so this particular height no this particular height is 5 inches now so you keep it here and you are going to do the concreting up to this level so this 5 inches will be maintained throughout your slab that's the one way of doing otherwise what you can do is you have this uh, shuttering here right on this you are going to do a marking of that 5 inch and you are going to you know uh, take this as a reference level and throughout the slab you are going to maintain this level so you have two options either you mark it on the uh, outside of the shuttering in this way and try to transfer it everywhere otherwise you can keep it in this way and this whatever height is there, that is the thickness of your slab and you are going to maintain that throughout your slab so these are two ways you can do it so let's see how he is uh, placing the vibrator this is how you have to place the vibrator so I'll go forward a bit again you see they have given a packing here you can see uh, under in this particular junction beneath they are given a packing why is that so if you don't give the packing no all the concrete will enter into this and then you cannot pass your uh, wires through that so again as a site engineer make sure you are telling the electrical people to give the proper covering in the bottom and also you tie this particular pipe you know with the help of a binding wire everywhere so that because once you place this vibrator and the concrete there's a the chances that this may get dislocated from here that is why you're supposed to do the work in the right way okay let me go forward a bit and this is your mixer machine like i mentioned so all these things are nominal mix so we have two types of mix like uh, one is nominal mix and one is design mix design mix is always good because that is where the way batching comes into play here it's a volumetric batching that means there is no way batching based on the volume let us say 50 kg of uh, cement 4 booties of sand and 6 booties of coarse aggregate and let us say one bucket of water that is how you prepare the uh, design but it is okay for the local construction and all this is how we try to do and it is okay and also i heard from one of my uh, senior uh, structural engineer uh, usually even if you prepare a m20 grade of concrete with this nominal mix the strength you are going to get more than m30 grade right so even if you prepare a m20 grade of a concrete with the help of this particular ratio like i mentioned 50 kg of you know uh, cement then uh, three booties or uh, four booties of sand and six booties of coarse aggregate the strength that you're going to get is more than m30 grade of concrete so that is why uh, we are getting on we are on the higher side and it is okay for us so right now the time is around you know uh, we started at the 9.30 in the morning so it is somewhere close to 10, 10.30 now so these people are doing the concreting okay and this is how the concrete is being prepared and through a lift you can see this so through this through this bucket we are going to lift it to the top and from there we are going to place the concrete so again while uh, place, while preparing the concrete we should make sure that we are not adding enough uh, more water into that again all those things I have covered in my concrete technology course if I show you the, my concrete technology course the course on concrete technology already 242 students have taken it is also a best seller on the Udemy having 4.8 star rating uh, so here you will be getting around 97 lectures 22 hours of the content I explained uh, uh, you know we'll get, yeah, manufacturing of cement and its types testing of a cement types of cement test on the aggregate admixtures what is mineral admixtures fresh properties of a concrete manufacturing of a concrete uh, then uh, what is the difference between volumetric and way batching what is way batching application on the site how concrete should be mixed how is transportation everything what is a type what are different types of needles uh, vibrators what is a surface vibrator what is creating what is floating what is traveling and then what is curing how, uh, how a concrete mix design is prepared and all those things again you can go through this uh, here also uh, they're given their use okay this guy is hard to hear maybe he's not an Indian so it's become a bit difficult for him to understand our English but you can go through the other reviews and all it has got around 50% of 
uh, five star rating it has 4.8 star, star rating okay. again you get that benefit of 30 days money back guarantee if you're not happy with the course you get a certificate after the completion as well that's how it is yeah anyhow we'll go back to the lecture again yeah so again he is doing the finishing work because uh, you need to maintain that uh, you know what is that uniform surface throughout the slab and with the help of the travel you are doing a proper compaction if there is excess water you will take it out okay and then this is how a leveling is done yeah so this is uh, around uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon uh, so half of the slab is completed let us say at least 40% of a slab is con uh, finished the concreting is done and the other side this much part of a uh, slab is to be concreted again okay so this much area has to be concreted so I'll go forward and I'll show you the yeah uh, so this is around 3 o'clock in the afternoon they are placing the concreting here okay yeah so right now uh, this is how the batching is prepared you can go through this this is what volumetric batching is all about all these things are covered in my course and yeah, I'm showing it here as well So this uh, particular slab where we are doing the concrete, you know, it is in the top floor. It's the last floor what we have. So we make use of this doctor, uh, doctor fix it uh, waterproofing compound. So for every batching, you have to add this 200 ml of uh, doctor fix it chemical, so that uh, there won't be any leakages in your slab because it's a large floor. If there is a leakage in the last floor, now of course you are inviting a lot of trouble because everywhere there will be leakage in all other floor. So I want my top floor to be you no know, leak. I mean I don't want any leakage in my top flow so this is how you add it so he has that measuring cylinder 200 ml and this is doctor fix it it's written there uh, waterproofing compound okay and from here uh, you will take the concrete to the top yeah so this is around uh, 6 o'clock in the evening we are almost done with 70% uh, of the slab another 30% of the slab is remaining So uh, all this part is half dried now because we did a concreting in this particular area at 9.30 in the morning. So it's 6 o'clock in the evening, almost 9 hours has been passed and we know that the final setting of a cement will take 10 hours, that is a 600 minutes.
and this is a staircase uh, concreting what we are doing so these bars are called as double bars hmm? even that is also explained in the course so uh, if you want to put up the next flight this double bus will be bent and you are going to do a lapping to that and that will be taken to the next flight right now they don't have any you know plan of uh, uh, building another floor over this this is a large floor since it is happening in the coastal area there is a restriction on the total height of your building uh, the total height of your building can be maximum to uh, it is 33 feet i guess yeah it is almost 33 feet okay so you cannot uh, build since uh, it is close to the sea and it comes under the coastal belt there is a restriction so you can go max height of 33 feet and this top level is coming out to be 33 feet so they, they don't have any plans of you know constructing any other floor over this right. everything all this part it isn't right so we'll try to go forward a bit So after this we will be taking another two lecture after this lecture I will show you how the curing and all those things are done and after that I will show you the entire you know uh, uh, this particular area of Murdeshwar I will be taking you to this particular area where this one restaurant here which is in the middle of uh, you know beach and also we will go to the other part of all these things hmm? we will try to see all those things so just subscribe to the channel and after this lecture we will have another two lecture on this series so again this is how they are doing the you know this is compacting they are taking out the excess water so we'll go forward a bit yeah when sunset is also done and they switched on the lights to the Gopur. So we'll go forward and we'll come to the last part of this slab concreting. So right now it is around uh, 6.30 in the evening, 6.30, 6.45 and even this part is also done this part is also done and a small part of this much area let us say at least 10 percent of the area is pending now and that also we are going to finish in another you know five minutes So everything is done here it has got dried by this time it's more than 10 hours now since we concreted in that particular area and finally another small portion is left out it's almost 7 o'clock in the evening now 7 7 10 in the evening and we we consumed uh, near about 400 you know uh, we consumed around 400 bags 400 to 450 that was the estimation near about 400 bags were consumed here for this particular uh, slab concreting of 5000 square feet and also in one of my previous uh, project it was around 8000 square feet of a slab area and we consumed around 1000 uh, bags of cement so this are this you can take this as a thumb rule so that you can you know just uh, have an idea okay 
and also you can also get an idea how much what is the, what are the total cost involved in the material just for the cement if i do a rough calculation here uh, we we took 400 bags of cement for the completion of this particular slab, slab concreting the present market rate of a cement bag is 380 rupees let us consider so 400 into 380 you do this calculation you will get the material price only for the cement after that the sand the co segregate labor cost per day that is a different thing altogether so 400 into 380 so 400 into 380 comes out to be 152000 so this was the total cost that was involved just for uh, your cement bags okay similarly you have co segregate you have a uh, fine aggregate then the labor cost and all so that is a different thing altogether so almost it is 715 now so almost it is done yeah right now a small portion is left out so we'll finish this and we'll wind up this lecture again So it's almost as a small portion is left out. Yeah, so you can see almost everything is done now. All the slab concreting is done. So after the slab concreting. Uh, next you have to do the curing and you have to do the deshattering of the sites those things we'll see in the next lecture and just in case if you're interested to learn all these things in a more practical way uh, we have a certain courses like always mentioned on site engineering quantity estimation drawing reading e tabs basic project planning concrete technology and deployment in practical aspects of construction you can buy them and also we get many we have many courses coming up on interview preparations and uh, advanced site engineer courses and all uh, so as and when time previous will upload few of the lectures on YouTube and you can follow our channel and subscribe to this channel I have given my contact number you can check in the description so you can contact on this number just in case if you want more information regarding the courses and all so finally it's done right uh, it took us uh, more than you know uh, 10 hours of our effort and as a site engineer it's your duty to stay there right from the morning to the evening so that everything get finished on time instead of time we want the quality have to happen we want a proper surface of a concrete a good very good you know uniform surface so that is how it is and of course need to take care of the checklist also okay So I hope uh, you enjoyed the lecture up to here. Please do subscribe to this channel. And in the next lecture, uh, we'll see how the entire uh, curing is to be done. What is the importance of curing? How is the deshattering given? What is mentioned in the IS code? And then after after that, I'll show you the complete uh, you know video of this particular uh, Murdeshwar. We'll try to see each and everything. Uh, we'll also go to the beach side and we'll see 
know how this entire you know uh, place is made of so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you